in a land laid barren in waste and chaos because of plants that spit seeds. There is only one man for the job. Obese Wasp! What up? This is Obese Wasp and this is my fourth video on Adventure Quest. This is a lovely little let's play I'm doing here. And it's time for me to finish up what I started. All I have to do is kill these three seed spitters and I'll be on my way to completing the uh, complete the quest for the Arkham Grove and gaining my experience without any further ado. Stun him! With imbalance and strike. Oh, I like using things that I've just got. How's he... I can't even hit something that's not moving. How... how... Right, okay, that makes complete sense. The thing I love about this game is uh, how realistic all the all the settings are. I mean, when I first played this, I thought this was one of them games where they actually uh, used pictures and animated. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, but for what it is, it's pretty good because you don't actually have to download this game. And I think to me that is that is a good game because I hate all these games like your World of Warcraft. I mean, the great games, they're fantastic. Don't get me wrong. They're better than this game for the fundamentals, but the fact that you don't have to like download this means that you can play this on a better basis and it just makes the game that much better because you don't clot up your computer and it can't lead to doing query because you don't even have to run JavaScript or anything like that. You just go on to the site, which is uh, at the moment I'm on www.aq.com forward slash play hyphen now. Uh, forward slash and uh, it's doing me quite well actually because I've just been I've just been like, having so much fun on the game so far and I just I don't think you can go wrong with a game like this I mean there are other versions of this game well not this game but like other games pretty much like it just with a different setting like there is mech quest I don't know if that's still about but there used to be a mech quest and I'll check about it and I might actually start doing videos on mech quest later on um, but to be honest, I think I'm going to I'm going to just have a have a gander at this and try and scope what this game is so far. And as soon as I get comfortable on this game, I think the videos might start to slow down, or I don't know, just whatever whatever you want as a viewer. Like I'll give you whatever you want to view. I'll give, uh, except if it's really really rude or weird, then no, I'm not going to. So. Um, I try and I try and make my viewers happy. I'm I'm trying to start building a fan base at the moment. I think I've got like five subscribers, and they're all people I know. I just want like my first goal is to get like 50 subscribers. It's not a great deal amount of subscribers, but I know if I feel I've got 50 people listening to what I've got to say about a game I love, then I think it would help completely. And uh, it's not the pop most popular game on the market at the moment. It's not even on the market. It's free. I mean, that's what makes it so bizarre. It's not the most popular game out at the moment, but it is still a game you can play if you're bored and if you want something to do, or if your mum's decided she's going to cut off your World of Warcraft account, then you can actually start this game up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, time to uh, kill some seed spitters. They just done 100 damage to me there. Here we go. Next seeds that are ready to be chopped down. I think this video is going to be relatively long in comparison to the last few videos I've done because I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to cut this one short. But there's a there's a building that's been bugging me, so I think I'll just have a quick look at the museum and see what's uh, so it's available to do there. Because I uh, I think it's just it'd be a bit fun to see what uh, see what the museum's about. Hopefully I kill these seeds, but it's the last one. Then I can go collect my reward and my reputation. So don't think I just got the uh, thing for that then. Unless my quest is already complete. Yeah, it's already complete. So I could just go in there. Another, another funny thing on this, I think they should have took it out to be honest, is uh, where it says quest it says complete. You click the complete and it gives you the option to abandon it still. If you completed it, you should just be able to turn it in. 
So, I mean, I've just got 150 experience, 150 XP, 150 gold for one quest. So uh, now I'm I think I'm going to go head back to Battle Uh No, actually, I think that could be achieved by clicking on your map. Oh no, it can't. Oh yes, it can. And you can click Battle On right there, and it can send you to the main locations on the game, where you can see things better. Like it's a quicker way to travel about and quicker way to get the game done. Yeah, it is cutting out some of the journey, and the journey is what you play the games like this for. But I think this game is more based on uh, how you build the character, and uh, if you just enjoy doing little quests on games, it's quite fun. It's not expansive. There is no trick to the game. There's just regular gaming really there's no like oh you've got to do this and do that to complete this quest or it's not trickery right well I'm in the museum now and so there's a big dragon head I think or it looks like Beelzebub's head above a doorway which is pleasant there's Valencia who's a rare item hunter she's been on this game for quite a while uh, she can give you a daily quest or you can get to go to the treasure shop and uh, there is a museum's quest column here our first chaos beast. And find a trophy of your victory in your appearing museum. But I'm going to accept that because I get treasure hunter reputation then. Getting reputation in this game is quite a big thing. Because it can, uh, getting your reputation up on this can, I don't know, it just, you, you feel like you've achieved something and you've got a, a reputation on this. And uh, I think the Chaos Beasts are the main main enemies, so you keep that as an ongoing quest. And this is where my trophies from the killing the Chaos Beasts will be held. It would be nice to come back and look at my achievements. As you can see that one looks kind of like a mermaid, and I couldn't tell that. I think that's a dragon. So uh, I think I'm going to leave the museum now, which it was pretty uh, insightful, because at least I know what that building is now. And... Uh, I'm going to leave this and I think I'm going to go and uh, see, look at the buy house option. I know it's only for members, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually buy a house in this game of your own. You can furnish it, you can put other items in it, wall items, and you can put housing inventory in there, which is a good way to hold, hold your items. And you'd go through that arrow to get to your house. So uh, <clears throat> you go down here now and back into battle on. And I uh, think I'm just going to quick click on my on one of these random areas, which is da, 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 OK Island, Oaklaw Forest, Greenguard Forest, Dwarf Old Mountain, and Skull Home. I think I'm going to go to the Oaklaw Forest. It sounds really pretty and nice. So I'm going to go there, and I think I'm going to start off in... The sitter, no, th this tells you what sort of level you want to be when you go there. So I think I'll start in the prison. Be a good way to start and a good way to, a good place to start to build my character a bit more. And uh, I wonder what these prisons are actually for. Right, you've just teleported to a meaningless place. Oh, you can actually hit the prison wall. <laughs> The sink fights back, that's uh, that's hilarious. It just sprays water for it to attack and uh, I don't know I could stun a wall, that'd be a pretty good achievement. Ooh. Here we go. Way. And uh, that will conclude my fourth video of this. Thank you. Uh, keep watching. Keep subscribing.